Good evening, and welcome to Bunker Hill Baptist Church's Wednesday night prayer service. If you're seeing this, unfortunately, that means that we are not meeting in person tonight due to the weather. So I just want to start off by hoping you're doing well during this time. Please take the cautions that are needed whenever you're watching this. But thank you for joining us on Facebook and YouTube, wherever you're joining us from. Thank you for being a part of our worship service tonight. Even though we cannot meet in person, it's still reassuring to know at this time we are praying together as a church family. And we're still together in heart and in spirit. Tonight we want to lift up the family of Paul Barber. That's Kathy Stuckey's brother. Uh, he has just been moved to the Grove and is on hospice care. And so we want to be praying for them and praying for everyone right now in the eye of this storm, wherever it is passing through. It's not just affecting our county, uh, our city, but all over the state of Mississippi and the South. And so praying for those affected by the storms, praying for those working through and working to help recover from the storms during this time. Thank you again for joining us. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to join in your house tonight. Whether it's, whether it's virtually, Lord God, we still thank you that we can still gather and worship together with our church family through, uh, through prayer, Lord God, because we gather together at your throne room. We gather and we speak to you, Lord God, because we know while the winds may rage and the storms may blow, Lord God, we know that you are still in control. Even though when our life feels out of control, whether it's a worldwide pandemic, whether financial losses, no matter what happens in our life, even the tragic loss of family, we know you are in control. We know you have a promise, Lord God, and we above all pray that your will be done. God, we lift up the family of Paul Barber. We just lift up and pray that above all your will be done in this situation and pray that let them know there's a God that loves them and a church that is praying for them. And you walk with us, Lord God, through the valleys and on the mountaintops. And so just we pray for that family and we pray for our church family that we can reach out, Lord God, to them. And we lift up those that are hurting tonight. We lift up those in the eye of the storm, Lord God. We lift up those that are going to be working through, uh, those emergency first responders, those in the hospitals, Lord God. We lift up those that are hurt by the storm's damage, Lord God. We lift up those that are going to help to recover. God, I pray that after these storms have finished, that we can be a church that goes out in our community and helps restore Bunker Hill community, Lord God, that helps restore uh, our county, Lord God, that wherever we need to be, we will be obedient to that call. God, give us your eyes in this situation, not our eyes of fear. Lord God, give us your peace, not our emotions of anxiety and worry. God, give us your heart of even joy while we are saddened at this moment. May we surrender, Lord God, to the promise of you, not to the temporary promises of this world. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Well, as the storm rages, I have a few verses I'd like to read out tonight uh, and a reminder uh, that God is still in control even during the storm. They're going to be in Mark chapter 6, starting in verse 45. That's Mark chapter 6, verse 45. Immediately he, meaning Jesus, made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side of Bethesda while he dismissed the crowd. After he had taken leave of them, he went up to the mountain to pray. And when the evening came, the boat was out on the sea and he, and he was alone on the land. And there he saw it was making headway painful for the wind was against them. And it was about the fourth watch of the night, about 3 a.m. in the morning. 
and he came to them walking on the sea. He meant to pass them by, but when they saw him on the sea, he thought it, they thought it was a ghost, and they cried out, for they saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded. For they did not understand about the loaves, but their heart was hardened. Three things I want you to get out of this passage tonight. It's a very familiar passage of when Jesus walks on water. This is immediately after Jesus had fed the 5,000 with the five loaves and the two fishes coming out of Mark and the, and the verses that proceed. When you look at these verses, number one, know that Jesus waited. Jesus took his quiet time. The crowd was around him. He had thousands surrounding him waiting on, on his message. He had the disciples wanting to know his every move. And the human side of Jesus needed time away. We all need our quiet time. We all need that moment away from the audience, away from the crowd, away from the social media, away from anyone trying to get our attention and we need that time where the only attention that we're giving is God's word and our place in God's world and knowing that we are his child. One thing in ministry you learn is that the church will always ask. One thing you learn as a parent, children will always ask more of you. There are times that you need to take time with just God's word, God's promises, and be able to, even in these moments, when the winds are blowing and the storm is raging, you have God's word in front of you. You need God those moments. Jesus waited. He didn't immediately jump into the next thing, go with the next crowd. He still, he was still and waited. The next thing I want you to look at is that Jesus walked to them. He didn't run to them on the water. They were afraid of the storms. They were afraid of the wind. They were afraid of what was going to happen. And Jesus didn't immediately get to them. When storms rage, and, and today is a very weird feeling because we want this to be over with. We don't want these storms to fall. Just like in our own life, we don't want storms to come, but they will. And we need to understand that Jesus will get to us. Jesus will get there, but sometimes he walks. And he walks through the storms. We want to run through the storms to get to the other side with Jesus. We want to get away from what could happen. But Jesus walks through the storms. And we don't need to forget that the same Jesus who walks and controls the storms is the same Jesus that walks in the sunshine. And even though we want to get through the moment, He is there in the moment. He's trying to teach us something there in the moment. And he is the God of that moment as he is the God of the moment of sunshine. And although we want to hurry up and be through with it, Jesus walks. He doesn't run. God's never in a hurry. We are. That's why he says for us to be still. For us to wait for us to walk with him. And the last thing I want to show you is that Jesus watched. It says he got into the boat with them and the winds ceased and they were utterly amazed. Jesus watched the storms around. Jesus watched them on the boat. Jesus went through and walked and watched them. And the same God that Watch them, watches over each and every one of us. Tonight, as we watch the storms and the winds rage, God watches over us. As we watch the news and we watch what's happening around us, God watches over all of us. 
as we look at our social media and we watch other what other people are doing, God is watching over us. He controls the winds. He controls the seas. These disciples didn't understand what happened with the feeding of the thousands. They're still looking for Jesus to be something else. Their heart is still hardened for what they want Jesus to be. And sometimes we get caught in what we want Jesus to be so much. And Jesus is watching us, wanting us to be his. We want to be the world's. We want to get caught up in knowing all the knowledge and everything else of what's going on in this generation. But Jesus wants us to be his. Jesus waited. Jesus walked. And Jesus watches over all of us. As the storms go through, know that the same Jesus who walked in the sunshine walked through the storms. And he watches over you tonight. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you. Let us be reminded that you took your quiet times and that we need to take our quiet times. That you walked and not get not wanted to be in a hurry, Lord God. Let us in the same way be still with you. And let us know, Lord God, tonight as we set our eyes on what's going on around us, you have, our, you, you have your eyes fixed on us. Let us take that and be calm and be peace and show an example to the world of what it is to go through the storms and to go through the sunshine with hope and with your promises. In your name we pray. Amen.